I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. <laughs> I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the chum bucket ever again. Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. Two, create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Don't give up! Oh, SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way! totally would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Film is in one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script down. Uh, 50, uh, just hurry up! Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man. Let's take some pictures to capture this train wreck. Wow, they're taking photos of us. Are we in the movie? Oh, do I look bloated enough? I just have myself inflated. Restricted zone. No photo blocking Mr. Uh, 
here. Please go to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. <laughs> As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. Hey, buddy, main cast only. No extras in this area, pal. Next to that guy. Oh, you mean that big mean looking guy that won't stop looking at us? <laughs> Wait. to travel into the distant future! I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Ooh. Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. This film's gonna be a real terrible. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? 
<laughs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts in nine, uh, eight, seven, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the set? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. A little dab will do it. Yeah. indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting for my um our cause Cassandra are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy the portal brought you right where you're supposed to be don't resist the jelly verse instead take it store it and bring it to me besides the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more you're right if it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra. If I wanted to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film. But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick.
Karate kick it! Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get mo- I say we wah, kick things off! Put that jelly in the belly! I hope Cassandra is right, and all this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. That common. Nothing we can do. I think we'll need that part to get past them. Oh, not these guys again. Karate kick them out of my darn sack, would ya? There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process. Which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. Ha <laughs> ha! 
security guard will let you pass now. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. <laughs> That's it! A real Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found draft services! Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them. Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What, what? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. You're not entirely useless as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next. Move it! In this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Some villain buried people under rubble. Who could have done this? It was a big sponge, Bob, I swear! Oh, thank Neptune. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Thank you! I can kiss you! Uh, maybe some other time, though. Hmm. Looks like some kind of animal dug these holes. To do what? Hide nuts for winter? Get real, SpongeBob. My genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press.
You want to convince my audience that you're the real Karate King, you have to be as fast as a leopard! Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and- But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive. Lines, comfortable seat, no slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby. I almost forgot to mention all the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. in need. 
go Rocky Bob to the rescue. Why do fight those jelly guys again? I hope we can use stuff, man. this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. <gasps> well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. <sighs> no more chafing. This Zen garden is so calming. Oh, you said it. Oh, go Zen garden! Listen, you talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! is performing daring chases. You should try to beat your best time. It would look great on your... Oh, tartar sauce. It would have been great if the elevator was working. Well, it probably was working. But now it's not.
Does it squirt? Good thing I'm a balloon, or I'd be terrified of falling. <laughs> oh, hey, watch where you're landing! Not to fear, my inflatable friend. I'm as sure-footed as... No, I just looked down! You know what they say. Keep your friends close and your dojo's closer. these cranes. Ooh, I'm thinking pasta? Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick's dipping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Cause I'm in a mood, and my mood is coming. <laughs> 
Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs> Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... <laughs> No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. <laughs> 